investigators search for a lead in the crash of Asiana 214. Air traffic controllers provide some answers. Uh, visibility was 10 miles, um, a few clouds, uh, not an issue. Controllers tell investigators that it was a normal day, except for the fact that some runway equipment was not in operation. And that runway's glide slope was, was out of service. Electronic equipment installed on runways can send signals to a plane's autopilot. The signals can help guide the plane down at a precise angle. But the main runway at the airport is under construction, and the equipment is switched off. It's a revealing discovery. A combination of high traffic and compact runways have earned San Francisco Airport a reputation for difficult landings. To manage the high traffic, controllers often ask pilots to come in fast and steep, leaving lower altitudes open for departing planes to climb out. Very often, we are given what we call the slam dunk approach, where we're, we're high and we have to get down quickly. And it, it does create a little bit of a challenge. All right, so there's San Francisco Airport. Palo Alto's down here, you know. Roger Cox knows firsthand how challenging landing at San Francisco Airport can be. I can say from my own personal experience flying in there many, many times that it's very easy to get high and hot, uh, and you have to really uh, stay on top of the airplane. Asiana 214 Heavy, runway 28 left, cleared to land. It all leads to some troubling questions. Were the Asiana pilots flying into danger? Did they face an extraordinary risk at an airport notorious for difficult landings? So he'd be coming in from this direction, straight across the bay. Roger Cox studies airport radar records. He wants to know if controllers assigned Asiana Flight 214 an approach that was too fast and steep to fly safely. Clear to land. There were some complaints initially from the operator that this crew was being asked to do something was unreasonable. So we wanted to spend quite a bit of time looking at whether that was true. Same instructions, same approach. No one else had a problem. Airport records reveal controllers gave two other planes the same instructions just before Asiana touched down. Both landed safely. You can't fault the controller. And they managed to land 777s safely without any difficulty. So although it is a, a somewhat challenging environment, we found that nothing that ATC did really caused the accident. It's another dead end. For now, what brought down Asiana 214 remains a mystery. <laughs>